Welcome to the World of Warcraft Season of Discovery Phase 2 Rune Guide. Within this guide we delve into the introduction of six new runes in this phase and elucidate the methods to obtain them. If you find this guide beneficial, remember to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to the channel for additional World of Warcraft Season of Discovery content. Rune of the Guardian To acquire the rune in list, the aid of an additional healer capable of reviving you. Proceed to the ruins of Alterac. Locate the skeleton positioned on the southern wall. Click it and obtain the dormant holy rune. Employ divine intervention on a fellow player. Subsequently, have your healer revive you, thus unveiling the new rune. Libram of Deliverance Paladins are required to journey to Nigel's Point in Desolus and retrieve the Libram of Deliverance from a book resting on the bench inside a building. Upon equipping the Libram of Deliverance, players must utilize Blessing of Freedom to liberate others from movement, inhibiting effects a total of five times. Following this accomplishment, you can right-click on the equipped Libram of Deliverance to acquire and learn this rune. Rune of Piety to obtain this rune, you must first gather three tarnished prayer beads and transform them into divine prayer beads through specific actions. These beads can be obtained as drops from syndicate humanoids, dark iron dwarves, witherbark trolls, or boulder fist ogres in Arathai Highlands. Dry whisker gnolls typically only drop tarnished beads one and two. Each bead requires a distinct method to purify it from a tarnished bead to a divine bead. Generally, higher-level beads are more likely to drop from higher-level humanoids. Tarnished Prayer Bead One can be purified by casting Blessing of Might while engaged in combat and defeating an enemy. Tarnished Prayer Bead Two can be purified by casting Divine Shield when health is below 10%. Tarnished Prayer Bead Three can be purified by using Seal of Justice with Judgment on a fleeing enemy. Once you have gathered all three divine prayer beads, combine them to create a Rosary of the Light. Then present the Rosary to Brother Atticus in Stromgard Keep to obtain your rune. The Art of War To obtain this rune, begin by acquiring the Highway Robbery Quest in Desolus. You can find it at an extinguished campfire northwest of the Kodo Graveyard. Next, head towards Cormac's Hut and turn in the Highway Robbery quest to Bibli Futzbuckle. He'll then offer you the quest on the lamb. Proceed to the inn in Booty Bay and hand in the on the lamb quest to Tokal. Then, take up the quest Cherry for your thoughts. Purchase Cherry Grog from Nixrax Philomog nearby and deliver it to complete the task. Tokal will then assign you the next part of your quest, No Honor Among Thieves. In the Arathi Highlands, Locate the robo positioned under the bridge between Arathi Highlands and the wetlands. Interact with the robo to be transported to the eastern shore. Seek out Ilari Duskfeather and engage her in conversation. Depending on your race, she may offer two dialogue options. Select one to initiate combat. Defeat Ilari. Pick up the drop pouch and retrieve Ilari's key from it. Use the key to unlock Ilari's loot cache, where you'll find the jewel-encrusted box containing the coveted rune. Open the box to claim your prize. Sheath of Light To obtain this rune, begin by locating a broken hammer on the ground in Manorok Cove, which initiates the Broken Hammer quest. Defeat nearby Burning Blade Summoner mobs to obtain the required torn letter. Proceed to the Stormwind Cathedral and hand in the quest to Catherine the Pure. Listen to her insights about the hammer in the subsequent quest, a lost brother. Next journey to Menethil Harbor in wetlands and converse with Harold Riggs on the docks. From there, swim south along the wetlands coastline to Newman's Landing in Dunmoreau. Continue swimming until you reach the docks, then search for the body of a fallen crusader. Overcome any ambushers, Retrieve orders from the Grand Crusader and accept the ensuing quest orders from the Grand Crusader. Return to Stormwind's Cathedral and speak with Catherine the Pure once more. Finally, venture into Scarlet Monastery Cathedral to confront High Inquisitor Whitemane. 
gain entry to her chambers to find Ionas the Vindicated. Upon completion, return to Catherine the Pure in Stormwind to conclude the final quest Ionas the Vindicated and receive the Sheath of Light, thus obtaining the rune. This rune requires you to kill seven elite dark riders around the world. All players can get one of their runes from this, so I recommend making a group with your fellow players. Travel to Deadwind Pass and seek out the Dalaran agent at Eridan's camp. Upon interaction, they will provide you with Eridan's sigil. Equip the sigil or be in the company of another player who possesses it. Utilize Eridan's sigil to reveal a dark rider. Subsequently, eliminate seven Dark Rider elites to obtain various Dalaran relics. Keep an eye out for the Dark Presence buff indicating the proximity of a Dark Rider. Dark Riders yielding different Dalaran relics can be located in the following areas. Dark Rider that drops curious Dalaran relic can be found in Deadwind Pass. Dark Rider that drops glittering Dalaran relic can be found in Duskwood. Dark Rider that drops Odd Dalaran Relic can be found in Swamp of Sorrows. Dark Rider that drops Whirring Dalaran Relic can be found in Erethi Highlands. Dark Rider that drops Slippery Dalaran Relic can be found in Badlands. Dark Rider that drops Heavy Dalaran Relic can be found in the Barrens. Dark Rider that drops Creepy Dalaran Relic can be found in Desolus. Once all seven Dalaran relics have been collected and returned, the Dalaran agent will present the A service to Dalaran quest. Completing this quest rewards a supply bag containing the coveted rune. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up by hitting the like button if you found it helpful. Your support really means a lot to me, and it helps me create more valuable content like this in the future.